Good evening, everybody. Hello. Good day from a very smoky Melbourne. Terrible tonight. I don't know. Fires are burning up everywhere in the country at the moment. So much news about dev devastation and destruction everywhere. It's terrible. So, in any case, I um, tonight I was thinking about just going through some photos and uh, just having a look at some photos that I took and uh, seeing how to, uh, giving you some, not that I'm an expert, but I thought I'd show and share with you how I go about editing uh, pictures and uh, let me just make sure I switch off all the sounds of all the stuff I'm just monitoring as well. Let me just get the why do you chat up. Send me a message. Let me just switch this thing off so on. Um, let me just see. Just had a message, sorry. Pardon me, I'll just switch that off so we can't get bothered. Somebody was just asking what time the show was starting. Somebody just want to send me a message there to say to see if the chat works. I changed settings on it, so um, oh, hang on. Our internet's been playing up a bit today, so hopefully. Oh my goodness. Let's just see, I think our internet just dropped out. So they must be working on the lines, this wonderful broadband that we've got in uh, Melbourne. I'm still streaming, so hopefully it keeps going. So it would probably just carry on from where it uh, got paused. All right. Okay, so it's definitely our internet that... Uh, playing up it's been hot here today as well so sometimes that uh, is part of the issue come on let's go oh, it looks like it's back on let me just see where I am here today as well so sometimes no no it's all going so it looks like it's still streaming Come yeah on. we're back so welcome just switch this off so you might get some feedback from me talking there so but if somebody can just send me a message just let me know if uh see that everything's coming through okay can't see me again let me just check here yeah, every stream chat chat's going let me just send myself a message hello What's going on? Is that coming through? Yep. Okay. So, stream's going. Everything's going fine. And there should be a slight delay on the chat as it's coming through. So, I was hoping that I could help you guys out a bit with uh, some pictures. We'll go through some old photos and I'll redo them. And um, maybe you can get some idea on how to uh, edit your photos if you're taking your own photos. I know that that's something that's quite uh, atrocious sometimes with um, pictures. I've seen some terrible photos, and uh, it's usually a good thing if you know, if you're capable of taking a nice photo and sharing them online. These days, uh, you get the views, and uh, people like what you want to do, then they uh, tend to follow you uh, all the time. So, um, so I need to move my uh, OBS screen around. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly close this window, get a different angle. Um, and then we'll take it from there, so bear with me. I just need to make sure that this little screen's up here. And uh, then we'll drag this one across, we'll change the view. Uh, so the desktop view, we've got that now, and I'll just monitor the cells there. So what I'll do is I'll go uh, Photoshop, so let me just drag this open. I've got Photoshop open underneath here. This uh, screen on a different page, and then we'll uh, quickly have a look and see what we've got. So, I've got a, a Photoshop open on this uh, page, 
And then I'll just minimize that to show you Photoshop. So there's Photoshop. And then we'll go through some of the photos that I've uh, took you in the past. So there's nothing, nothing too flash. I just, uh, just things from all over, the, uh, from probably 10 years worth of pictures. Lots of the same stuff. You know, lots of carpet pythons. Sort of the thing that I was working with in those days. And you could see with these photos, these were all taken with a Canon. I think I started with a Canon 600. I used to take mobile phone photos and then I just thought, nah, this is just not the look I'm going for. You know, we had a professional website that was built by, you know, we had somebody build a website, some of our original uh, snake photos. We um, actually had a, a professional photographer take the photos. It cost us a few, a thousand bucks to get the photos done, I think for 20 pictures. Old market at Enhance uh, Studios, and um, then I decided, well, maybe it's time to learn how to do photos myself. You know, so uh, I think there's, I think there's something like six thousand photos here or something. So you'll see they improved over time, and I can show you the mistakes that I made in the early days. And feel free to ask questions. I know there's, uh, with, I'm still just uh, this. This channel is just in the early stages of getting involved, but we'll do photos. I think people like to see pictures of, of cool-looking snakes. So we'll start at the start. So some of my earlier photos, I mean, this I think this was the one of the first uh, Hypotrans leatherbacks. Uh, let me see if I can see the... Stompy was his name. Beautiful little lizard. And that you can see, this was with full-on flash. You can see the shadows in the background there. Shadows are terrible. I see some of the best guys. I see some of the best breeders, international breeders, take photos that are so overexposed and is, and they've got the worst um, shadows. Now, you get rid of shadows, heavy shadowing like this, is you use some form of diffusion, so some form of white cloth. You put that in front of your lights to sort of break down the light a little bit. It's sort of similar to when you've got an overcast day outside next time when you go outside have a look when you walk around you can see that under the trees the shadows are very dispersed are very very uh very uh, um i don't know there's a word for it um the, it's not um the radius is very spread it's very spread the shadow so it doesn't have the sharp defined edges like we normally have so this was a little stompy so there's not much you can do with a photo like this really you know not much i mean you can crop out the background i mean this has got nice nice uh i wonder can you see my you can't see my pointer on the screen oh yes you can see it move around so this uh photo has got nice uh, sharp edges on the picture itself so you can crop out the probably uh, cut out the edges photoshop is smart enough to detect edges these days and the newest version of photoshop's definitely got um a lot better uh it's tiny that uh mouse pointer so hopefully you can see the mouse moving around so uh this little lizard was a hyper trans leatherback first i think the first in australia uh, i think i did a little bit of cropping here i'll show you some worked uh, pictures that i've done uh, that i've edited afterwards so but most of them started like this i mean this is really early i think i just got the camera and this guy was nuts. I mean, this is directly out of the camera. These reds and purples. And, and he, I mean, this guy was the, the founder of my line of um, bearded dragons. And he was a great breeder as well. Used him to outcross to a bunch of wild type females just to strengthen the line. And I think that's uh, not, not many breeders do that. So... Um, and you can see the background there. I tried some black background, but it's not a very even background. You can see there's a backdrop there. Also a direct flash. You can see the bright, the really sharp set of shadows around the edges of that lizard. This was one of the females that I started with. And then this is, a, let me just see. This was, a, let me just check the dates on these photos. This was a, uh, 20, 2011, this granite. It's a beautiful snake as well. Um, yeah, more. If we can keep going, that's uh, one of the first zebras that we hear. Uh, it's a female brittle of uh, a Centralian python coiled around a clutch. That's a very nice. Now, I wouldn't, wouldn't consider that a hyper. But, um, you know, people's opinions differ. 
This is a yeah, nice looking snake. I think I made hair. I think I made hair. Oh, I can't remember what I made. I think I just made normal bread line with her. So let's go back to these photos and let's just move on a little bit. So some more rough scale pythons, uh, Imbrica, Marilla Imbricata. These are rare. I don't think they occur outside. I think uh, I've only seen one breeder over in the, the UK with uh, a male, I think, or a I think it's a male or female. I think it might be a male. But I'm unaware of, in all the years of smuggling and stuff, stuff like that, international smuggling and stuff, I haven't seen um, Imbricata pop up over in collections over there. It's uh, quite odd. This was a female that took me, I think she took me 13 months to get feeding. And she eventually started eating. I think I took her, she just started eating one night. I think just a rat. Just suddenly decided, okay, I'm hungry now. But she resisted food for, I think, 13 months. Could be her. I think it yeah, definitely was her. This one here, actually. That female. She'll notice a uh, different looking uh, carpet python. Eight eggs out of them. As well, around that same time. Okay then, not many people online tonight. But uh, let's go. So we'll uh, close that up. So we'll see. So it's just some outlight, outside photos. Little hyper trans leather back. Same guy. They tend to go darker outside for some reason. Some of the jags that I made. Now it's not, not much you can do with these photos, but that's a nice looking little jag. Okay. And then we're moving here, you'll see this is still so yeah, around about here. So the first uh, Marilia Murray Darling albino that I made. That snake uh, from that line, all of the Murray Albino Murray Darlings that are out there these days came from, originally came from that. All the grown up ones now, all the adult ones in collections came from this this line of um they're quite uh, quite stunning little snakes actually. Some of my, f my favorite ones. Um, and we'll go down so you can see here yeah, I started to adjust the started to adjust the lighting a bit. So there's a semi-decent photo, but you can see the shadows are still really harsh in these pictures. Uh, and then I think this is where things started to change. So I think I might drag this photo in here and see if we can edit. Now it's always better to use J uh, it's always better to use um, raw pictures when you do this because raw photos are a lot more editable. So it's got a lot more. It's raw. It's a bit larger file. It's uh, you know you can change your white balance and all that type of stuff in um, when you start working with the photos afterwards. And it also doesn't lose quality over time. So every time you open a JPEG file, it lose. I think it. I've been told that it loses a little bit of a little bit of quality. Okay, so got Photoshop over here. So normally with Photoshop, it's quite it's quite it's quite straightforward. So uh, let me just make sure I've got the best photo for the job here. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit gray in the back. So let's get a nice one. So the eye in focus. Uh, let's see, whatever which one's eye is the best in focus. I think this one here. Okay, so that was uh, 2466, six. Two, four, uh, six, uh, six right over here, and drag that into Photoshop. It should just open it up. And now, what I always used to do is I always used to make sure that Photoshop's nose, Control H, hold on. Okay, image. Just go, yeah. Still here, just uh, 
Photoshop has changed a little bit in recent times, so they seem to be hiding stuff. Why are all my shorts cut now? Um, Okay, let's just go out of these because one of these, we have a dripper. Levels, okay, so we go levels. And you can tell Photoshop that that is supposed to be white. So, let's just undo that. So to the right here, you'll see all these adjustments that's on the right hand side here. And you can go through them as brightness and contrast, levels, curves. Exposure, vibrance, color saturation, color balance, all these type of things, and uh, it's really just as simple as uh, what if you've got a if you've got a so if you go we'll go back undo modify levels yep so you can see the background there is a little bit dull, so the photo is probably is a little bit underexposed so I'd rather be working with something that's underexposed and something that's overexposed because you can bring back some of the of the detail in the picture so we'll do exposure white balance click where you want it white and then usually what i used to do is i used to just take a brush make sure your brush is all white okay make sure you increase the size of your brush or bring it back i think it's just huge this uh, brush size okay well, there we go it needs to be made bigger So yeah, brush tool. Why is this stuff not working? Okay, here we go. So this is uh, the guy. This is some of the. Hardest, oh, okay, here we go. Too big, so we'll just run it smaller. Why is the color? Sorry. Ah, okay, 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 okay. okay. I figured out what I did here, so sorry. Let's just delete all these layers. My apologies for looking uh, like an amateur. I will get there. I think if I can make mistakes, and I think that you guys could learn from the mistakes. Best way to do it. Okay, so. Jump forward if you're at this point, so right about now. So we'll delete the layers. And then what we'll do is we'll just start over here. So we'll go up here, click on the picture. We'll do levels, should be up here, adjustments, okay. In here, we'll go levels, control L. Pick the white dropper. Okay, you can move this out of the way. And then you just click at the darkest point. So I reckon about there. Okay. So there you go. Now you can use your brush tool. It should increase now on screen. Bloody hell. Okay. Well, there you go. Okay. Edit. Undo brush tool. Undo brush tool. I don't want that streak in there. And you can now, and like literally, it's not as intimidating as it looks Photoshop. Okay. There we go. So choose a color, make sure the color is pure white. Bang. And now you can go, you can make sure you get, so if you go over the edges too hard, you don't want to do that. And it undo brush tool. Let's just go and figure out this brush here. 
You only have to do it once. This one here. Seems right hardness. It's too hard. You need something with soft edges. So bring your edges, your hardness down to about 20%. There we go. And normally you could see the size of your brush. Brush tip. Okay, let's do this. That's already pretty good. You know, undo brush. Undo brush tool. Undo brush tool, okay. That looks pretty okay, I think. Bring that down a bit. Edit. There you go. No comments. Okay. So that's not, not too bad. Let's just have a look and see. I'd love to know how to see. Okay. I might actually just start this show over. Ugh, no, let's just go through it. Not that many people watching, so. Ah, there we go. So you click that to make sure you can see where your tool is. So now you'll see where you go. Okay, that's what I was. Yeah, so I just need to customize. Once you've changed all the settings in Photoshop, it usually retains the settings. So you want to see where your circle, you want to see the radius. So you drop your radius where you're using these little brackets. Let me just show you the overhead. overhead view. So you use your bracket on either side to increase. size of the your tool see how it's, it goes bigger and smaller now when you go over the edges so especially down here there's a little bit of shadow down there that i don't like that's it okay that one's done close yes maximum okay that's done Let's see if you can find another one. No, so I've never really been happy with the edit on this photo. So this was the first Murray Albino that I made. So what do we say we do? We do control levels. Control L is your shortcut. Your white dropper, you go bang. There you go, the colors are all right. That just sets your white balance. So that tells you. Now, what I normally like to do is I like to crop. It helps you start with good photos, you know? Let's just start. Remember the composition the rule of thirds. Try and look about there. I think that's a good looking snake. Crop that sucker. Okay. That's a that's pretty good. See these raw harsh shadows down here. So remember to use your brush tool. Let's make it a little bit smaller to zoom. You can zoom in. You press Z to zoom. Now you can go in and do a nice little. So what I'd like to do is let's uh, just use the brush tool here. And you go um, around your edges, just, oops, wrong color. Make sure you pick the pick white. And now you just color that in, you know, around the edges. That's maybe a little bit too sharp. Let's just uh, make the brush size a little bit smaller. Maybe the opacity a little bit lower. So let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice and... Smooth those harsh shadows away. Nice. Remember, shadows are normal, so you don't want to take away all the shadows. Then you right click, right click, and normally that's zoom 
uh, fit on screen and there you go there's that snake done so let's we can always do the uh, white we can do the okay, image adjustment you can always do the hue and saturation color balance let's see what color balance does okay no, no you don't want to use color balance you want to use U and saturation so we go U and saturation and you can move this guy up so you can go saturate a little bit a little bit more like the orange pop and if you make it less but i think that photo looks pretty good snake you can see that snake's orange okay so that's your original Robina murray Yes, let's say that. I'm happy with that. And let's go look at another one. Okay, here we go. Let's do some Marulia and Bricara. Drag it into Photoshop. Image. So you see how dark the outside of this photo is? Sorry, this show got off to a rough start because my settings have been removed from Photoshop because I downloaded the new 2020 Photoshop. So let's just go edit image adjustments uh, so we want to do levels but you can also just do control l white dripper uh, darkest spot probably uh, yeah you don't want to do it with the shadows i see that's not quite right so if you do it there over the exposes it so you want to do don't want to do it with the show photo so usually in the background there is usually a good spot and then what you can do now, so the eye is not too in focus, so what we can do is you can sharpen that guy, so image size, control S, I think is sharpen. Yep, that's control, so control S is save. So you put sharp, uh, here we go, sharpen, smart sharpen, okay, and then you can move this around. Pressure radius, that's too much. Usually about three, four, maybe. Okay, amount. You're not going to go too much. Use noise, yes. Not too much because the snake's not smooth. Maybe the radius a little bit more, maybe around five. Yes, you know, so that's how you get the pupil a little bit sharper if it's not too sharp. There you go, there's your Murray. Okay. Work something out here. Okay, let's do... Oh, I didn't save that, so okay. But that's fine. Let's do uh, one of these, uh, we've done that, snake. Let's do this guy. So this snake's overexposed, so let's see if we can fix that. Okay, so see there's this tinge down here that's totally, there's yellow tinge to the snake, so let's just do control, let's just see what control L does. White dripper, so that's supposed to be white. Oh, that fixes the overexposure. Okay. Now let's crop this picture. This was a classic photo that a friend of mine actually um, redid for me. And you can, of course, get this straighten this picture up as well. Right there. Bring it in tight. I have to make sure you crop it. And then make sure right around the outside here, that's not quite white over there. You can see it, so make sure it's pure white in your levels. Bring this all the way down. All these need to be, your H and S needs to be zero. And you know it's all white, so let's just go over here. 
make sure that all this is white especially on the corners because on the on the something like facebook pictures look very odd when they've got these black edges to the photos okay so that's not bad you can zoom in right here maybe just let's just make these edges i don't like those sharp really sharp edges so we'll uh, make our brush a little bit smaller maybe just run it around the edge just to break it up a little bit easy let's make the opacity a little bit lower there we go nice that is beautiful zoom out minus there we go put the screen there we go nice straighten it up beautiful let's do the next one so you'll see it gives you the option to save so yeah we'll save it okay let's go next photo until it's so these are ones that i already did so notice that this is early days i didn't i didn't know how to fix the yellow tinge that i've noticed there's another guy on facebook that does uh, a lot of photos like this as well and he's um he's also his light levels his levels are out so you adjust that white dropper you get it sorted let's see this is a little bit more reflective on the snake so let's see what this does if there's a reflection of a snake in there okay so just crop this guy first crop it bring this in so you, uh, you don't want to uh, see now the shadow is not right there so what we can do is we can just put it like this Maybe edit it up like that so you can see some of the snake down here. Bring it down. Bring it in. Okay. Crop. Turn your levels. Control L. Bang right in the background. See, but now you sort of lose the reflection of your snake down at the bottom here. So let's just do let's just close it up. We'll get another photo. Okay, so back into the folder. Okay, let's do some zebra jag. But I still had the raw file files of this snake. Must have edited all of them. But let's let's have a look. Let's see. This is the first this is one of my first uh, zebra jag was. Oh yes, see how overexposed that is. So let's just bring the levels down. Control L. Okay. Down here. Let's control L. Uh, dropper. Make sure it's white. Right about there. It looks like it's a little bit yellow here, right on the edge. I see. Wrong spot. Pencil. Let's zoom in first, that might be the best option to do. Right onto the, see that yellow edge right around there? So let's see what we can do about this. So, some photos just can't be salvaged. So what you can do here is you can go with a brush and you can just go in white, make it white and you just go around the edges go around the edges just take some of that color some of that uh, yellow right out okay now when you go over it still looks wrong Probably use levels to bring that down. So let's see if you bring this down, that level goes up. Bring this down a bit. See how easy it is to fake people. Bring this down. There we go. 
we use exposure as well. Let's go and have a look. Uh, image adjustment. Exposure. Let's see. Let's just make exposure less. Let's go down with exposure. There we go. One stop. No, not even. Maybe half a stop. Five of a stop there. Let's see what that does. Okay. There we are. That probably looks a little bit more acceptable. Still has that yellow tinge around it. So if I did the originally did the white dropper, but that's early days. We know what to do. So let's see. Rough scale Python. No. Na 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 na. What else? Let's look at one of these. Let's see. No. Let's see if we can do a lizard. Hello, beauty. Let's see this beauty. Bring it in there. Why is nice in focus? What we say we do? Control L. Pick your level dropper. White. Go white. There we go. Beautiful. See that yellow line there? So let's undo that. Let's go Control L. Find the yellow line. Overexpose her right there. Better. Zoom in. Let me do brush. Brush size bigger. Go around the edge. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Make sure it's white. All the way across, all the way down. So that's why there we go. Always make sure I get rid of some of the sharp edges. Okay. Blend it away. Blend it away. All your troubles away. This dude was beautiful. Look at him. And that out of, that's a good thing about Canon. I do uh, a lot of sh photography now with sa Sony's. And Sony's are good, but I really like the colors out of Canon. Canon's got a very natural tone. I mean, this lizard look exactly the same as this. And I mean, anybody that saw him can attest to that. So there's a bit of a shadow here. That's not too bad. Those shadows aren't too bad either. But just in, there, just in case we go over here. Actually smooth them out. Smooth this shit out. Okay. That's it. Flip the screen. Not bad. And now we can of course do the colors, edit the adjustments, do the hue and saturation. Of course now you can go a little bit up of the saturation. Yeah. Friday night, nobody's at home. Okay. Blow your mind. Okay, there's your bearded dragon. Beautiful. Blows. And yes, we will save that. Make sure it's highest quality. Let's do the next one. What about this? Let's have a look and see what this guy's like on Photoshop. So you see there's we can go hello there. Okay, so control all these shortcuts. Control L. Bang. Oof, hang on, hang on. 
this is white too much right there now what we'll do is we'll bring the exposure down Exposure down point four. We'll go saturation up. five I think then what we'll do is we'll do set we'll go use a sharpen uh, sharpen smart sharpen right down the eye we bring this down just slightly and let's go up Beautiful. That's a nice photo. And then, of course, you can put your logo on there on the corner. So let's save that. Maximum OK. I forgot how nice, I forgot how relaxing it is to do edit photos. Unfortunately, I think I've. There's that picture of the snake. So let me just see. This was an albino jungle. First one ever made. So let's see control levels. Let's go over here. Tick there. Bang. Makes it white. Let's crop this guy. Crop. And then you go zoom in. Make sure you get these rough edges over here. Get your brush tool. Make sure you get the, that set to white again. Okay. And then we go, go just go over there, just bang. Level, level back. I think that's just something on my screen there that you can't see. Across There's dead space here, increase the size of your brush, and then the edges are a little bit more um, feathered as well. Okay, little spot here. Little nose of this little guy. Beautiful, beautiful. Zoom out. And that's it. Image adjustments. Let's just go a little bit of hue and saturation. Because this thing was orange. This thing was yellow. It was bright red when it was born. Sharp at least. Yep, and then you go filter. Sharpen, smart sharpen. Okay, there you go. Crazy. Okay, well, I just wanted to log on and do a little bit of uh, photo editing, but it's not very busy on this page at the moment, but I'll leave this here. We'll just get better every day from now on. But I'll just keep persisting. Build it and they will come. Isn't that the old saying? So we'll just close this up. Uh, document, yes, so changes, yep, okay, and that's it, nice, so let's get back on to um, stop this screen, so thank you for watching, we'll do another show tomorrow night, we'll just keep going until uh, we uh, 
get some traction. Thank you very much.